just want to take a minute to show you how to uh, sync up your audio and video clips in Adobe Premiere Creative Cloud. Uh, now, if you're like me, I shoot with the DSLR, and if I'm shooting an event that's really long, I wind up with uh, a lot of video clips, and since I record my audio on a separate audio recorder, I usually just let that run, and so I have one audio clip and multiple video clips. Now, it would be great if we could just sync them all up real easy by uh, dragging them onto the timeline like this, dragging your uh, audio onto the timeline underneath it, and then just highlighting them all and hitting synchronize. But unfortunately, that's not an option at this point in uh, Premiere, so uh, you can't do that. So the other way to do it is um, to just do this first step like we did, but then go through, highlight each clip and the audio clip you wanna sync it to, and synchronize them each individually. Make sure that you've got audio checked so that it will automatically uh, sync up based on your reference audio and your final audio. And you can go through and do each clip like this. Uh, a little time consuming. I was hoping to find something better. Unfortunately, there are no uh, simple one-click solutions at this point. If you're gonna do it this way, um, I recommend starting with the last clip and working your way back to the beginning. If you start with the first clip, you're gonna wind up uh, moving into the clips in front of it and overwriting them some. So start at the end, work your way back. Um, I saw somebody complaining on a message board that when they did this, uh, that when they did the next clip, that the first clip got out of sync, presumably because the audio moved to sync up with the video. I haven't had that problem, and it might be because I have everything flush up against the beginning of the timeline. Um, maybe if this was free floating, that wouldn't be the case. Now, if you want to try to do something a little bit different, um, one thing you can do is, if we just get rid of everything, if instead of we drag everything on like a sequence, if we go ahead, actually let's go up here and we add a bunch of tracks. Um, we'll just add eight, way more than we need. And then what we can do is we can drag each clip and overlap them uh, like this. And then you can highlight them all and synchronize them. I didn't bring them all down, just in the interest of time. That allows you to automate the process into one simple step, but it's still not ideal because what winds up happening is, is each uh, video clip is now on its own track, which is not what you want. You can either come in here and you can either come in and manually bring them down, or maybe you don't care if they're on the same track. Um, if we, the other thing you can do is you could uh, select them all like so, and hit nest, and then you can nest them like that, in which case you could then select all the audio, the reference audio, get rid of all the reference audio, go up to sequence, delete all the empty tracks, and now you've got your uh, video sunk up with your final audio. Um, this is not the way I do it, generally because I'm looking for the gaps between the clips as for something to fill in, but uh, if you don't care about the gaps between the clips, this works. And then of course the final way, which would not really be appropriate for syncing multiple video clips to a single audio clip, but you could always go up here, uh, select your audio clip, press the Apple key, and select your video clip and merge them, merge clips. Again, um, make sure you're merging based on audio, make sure you remove the audio from the AV clip, and it will create you a new clip with the original video and the uh, final audio. But this doesn't work so great because there's no way to tell Premiere to automatically trim off the extra audio uh, at the head and tail of the clip. So you wind up getting this new clip, and if we just drag that down to create a new sequence with it, you'll see that you've got a lot of audio there. So then we'd have to go in and we'd have to, uh, plus it's sunk to the beginning. So when you go to trim the head, you have to actually unlink it. <laughs> and then you can do this and you have to do that for each clip. And also uh, like with synchronizing them on the timeline, you can't select multiple video clips and one audio clip and sync them up 
to a new merge clip that way. So hopefully Adobe will add that as a feature in the future, but for now, uh, these are the ways to do it.